Hello guys, welcome back to the bench, and today I'm going to be testing this Harder and Steinbeck, or Steinbeck, airbrush. It's an Evolution, and I think it's a 2 plus 2 or Evolution Plus because it comes with a point two and a point four millimeter needle and uh, nozzle. So uh, it was 200 bucks, came with free two-day shipping. Um... It was from Spray Gunner, and it's also available on Amazon through Spray Gunner. So uh, it, it's the same same guys either way. So if you got a credit on Amazon, it'll go towards them. But uh, I had one of their earlier airbrushes. I think it was the Infinity. And my finger, I'll show you in a second, was too close to the cup. And it was just, I, it just interfered. I couldn't, uh, I'll show you my old one here. See how far away the cup is, and I can pull... My hand was actually hitting the cup. The needle is so close to it. And uh, I had to return it or I sold it. I don't know what I did with it. But um, I was ashamed because I know it, it, it really atomizes the paint really well. I, I was really impressed with it. Really different from all the other airbrushes I've used. But this one's made in Germany. Most are either uh, the Badges of America. My other brand is from uh, Japan, the GSI. Iwata's from Japan. And I guess the others are from China. But uh, this is one of the few from Germany, and uh, it shows. It's, it's built really well. I'm going to show you in a minute. And uh, as you can see, surrounding is uh, some tests that are coming up. The Duralumin Tough Chrome Paint. It's supposed to be stronger than their regular stuff. So that review is coming up. You can see it in the distance. I got a bunch of these Vallejo paints coming in. They're uh, for polyurethane and Lexan remote control car bodies. But we're going to try them on regular plastic, too. And behind this is the uh, test coming tomorrow, which is my GX Metallic. Anyway, for today, we are going to go over this Evolution airbrush from Hyder and Steenbeck. Comes with a really nice manual, multi-language, and color photos. A bit of a warranty information, registration. Really good on how to operate it, how to take it apart, how they recommend you clean it. Um, really, really, really nice. And how to spray troubleshoot i thought it was a really nice book one of the better books i've seen come with an airbrush now it's got these little slider mechanisms to open up the case can you see it i think it's both out yep so the case itself is nice too with their name and uh, chrome on it and there's the airbrush now um i don't know if they shipped with this or if this is something spray gunner does but it came with the quick release which fits in mine it most fit mine anyway, but that's great that that's on there already. And uh, it also, besides having a needle and nozzle combo, it also has a larger cup. And this is great for, I'm going to shoot the quick video now, the smaller cup. But look, you just unscrew it. It's got a nice Teflon, can you see it in there? Nice Teflon fitting. And this goes right on. And even this larger cup, my finger still fits really well. And it's a really nice and a unique mechanism. Can you see the floating hinge there? And it's got a real, real nice feel to it. You can adjust the back as a stopper. So you turn this all the way in and you're only going to go so far. Well, it turns a lot. There it is. See, now it's stopping right there. And you back it off and we can go full bar all the way back. All right. And the uh, nozzle in the front comes off in one sweep. I'll show you that when I switch. I'm going to do the needle nozzle change on the fly and off the back. And then the second twist in removes the spring mechanism. All you need to do is move the back to change out the needle. I think we're going to go with the smaller cup for our test. We're going to do three different types of paints. And we'll see how uh, this does. I shot it quickly um, off camera. Just threw something in it quick to see. And uh, I was quite impressed. I got a lot of bad feedback in the comments from guys who got rid of theirs. Um, I I can't say anything. I did get rid of my first one, but that was because my thumb. They were complaining about paint quality, and I haven't run into that at all, at all. Um, but uh, that that's my experience. Anyway, we're going to show you. Uh, we're going to spray some uh, Tamiya. We'll do this flat red. Then we'll do this uh, Vallejo uh, Game Air. What is this? Alien Purple, we'll spray that. I have the Flow Improver because I'm going to put a few drops of Flow Improver. And we'll do a primer. We'll spray this uh, 
Mr. Finishing Surfacer Black. I've had this sitting here for a bit, so I figured we'll give that a shot. So we're going to do a primer and these two different kinds of paints. This is an acrylic lacquer, and this is a true acrylic. And uh, we'll show you. And what I'll do is I'll switch the nozzle for the primer. We'll go up to the four. And um, that's it. And I'll show you how to do that, and then I'll show you how to clean it. Now you're going to have trouble blocking the end for a back flush, so I'm going to take the nozzles. I have a bunch of these because they come with my my badgers and they come in handy Hotter and Steinbeck also sells their own little cap it should have came with this but it didn't but this fits perfect see it that's perfect for a backwash even for protection so anyway that's how we are going to clean it out so anyway let's hold it to the let's head over to the spray booth let me fire up the compressor I'm gonna set it for 20 psi uh, it's in the middle. They call it in the upper 30s, in the, uh, in the low 15s. You know, obviously, it's whatever you're painting. I'm going to stick it right in the middle at 20 PSI, and uh, we'll see how it performs there. And uh, that's all. We'll start with this Tamiya, and we'll head over to the booth. And uh, we'll see. I'm going to show you guys how nice I think this airbrush is. All right, guys, here we are at the booth. Sorry if the fan's a little loud. Maybe I can dial it down a little. There we go. It is a tiny cup. Look at that. You can see it right to the top. I can't go really quick here. But it atomizes the paint really, really, really well. I I'm impressed with this right off the bat. I am barely pulling back. The sense of control I have over this is really, it's really good. Now we're going to crank it up a little bit. And this is on a two, so it the atomization here is, is just so good. You almost, I don't want to say you don't need the four, the point four needle. I mean, we'll test that on the next color. But you can get right in. It doesn't force the paint. It doesn't push the paint around. It's because it's, it's such a fine... I'm really impressed, guys. Um, let's see. Oh, dull spot. Well, this is flat red. What am I saying? It's going to dry flat. You know, let's see how close and fine we can get this. It's tough to do this uh, where the camera is. Check that out. Look at that. I'm going to come in real close. I'm going to put the needle right to the cardboard. Let's see what happens. I mean, like, as if I drew a pencil line. There's no spraying. There's no splattering. And they make a .5 for this, which we get it down even, you know, even finer. I'm doing this for the first time. I, I, you really got to get used to it. Let's see how it goes on, you know, like a wide pattern. See that? I mean, that's strong coverage for a, a point two. I, I got to tell you. But the atomization on the paint is just so good. I got a bunch of these uh, paper uh, plastic plates I use for testing now. We need better colors than this to show it. Look at that. Really, really efficient. Fantastic. Uh, I'm quite taken by this baby. And uh, I'm glad I took the plunge. Um, let me show you how we're going to clean it out. One second. Alright guys, I took a shot of uh, some lacquer thinner. You can see it in the cup. We're going to use the cap. We're going to put the cap over it. And we're just going to back off a little bit. And there it is bubbling up. You don't have to go crazy. Just want to backwash it a little bit. Just like I did in the video just before this. You know, just going to dump it out. Get your long uh, Q-tips that I show. That's it. I'm going to put another shot in, spray it out. And look at that. Cleaned right up.
what you want to do is when, when you're spraying it out clear, see it? It's not spraying anything red. We're just spraying clean thinner. We're ready to go to the next color. And then uh, right now we're going to take it apart. We're going to put in another needle. And I'll show you how to do that right now. All right, guys. Let's see if I can zoom in a little bit for you. There we go. Okay. You're going to leave the needle on for now. The nozzle. Grip here and remove the extreme back part here. And there we go. Now we're going to loosen that up. If you look closely, I don't know, the camera's not going to work here. There it is. See it? It's got two notches that tells you it's a two. All right. We'll pull it out. Look how clean it is. All right. Now we're going to remove the nozzle and check this out. That's the whole piece. Can you see it? Let me see if I can zoom in. There you go. Look at that. It's this two-piece system. And that's everything. That's your two millimeter, point two. And we're going to put the point four, and it's going to have its own front. But that's the whole system. Teflon nozzle. I mean, Teflon uh, fittings right there. And that's it. That's the whole system. How great is that? No little wrench needed. We'll just stand this up here. I think everything, yep, everything's in here. Loose, but it's here. They protect the needle from the rest of it, it looks like. Yep. And there's the other two the other two pieces. So we're gonna push this in here, just like the other. And we're gonna load it up. All right, so that's ready to go. Don't wanna get these messed up. The sizes, that's for sure. Now this is protected by this foam piece here, so we're going to have to go out the other side here. Actually, leave this out, because we're going to have to put the other one in. Now, I can see it already. Let me get my fingers here. Let's see if I can show you. Oh, there we go. Oh, we are close. See it? See the four notches? That tells you it's a four if you get confused as to what you got. I'm sure somewhere on the needle, on the, the nozzle pot, it should say somewhere that it's a four. I hope it is. I gotta check it out later on. All right, just push this in. Finger tighten, and you're good to go. Now we'll try. I like to use a bigger nozzle, uh, bigger, a bit of bigger needle and nozzle combo when I spray uh, the Vallejo. So I said, well, we'll go ahead and do that because anyway, right after that, we're gonna have to do the uh, the primer anyway. So the old needle will go back in here. Not that we really need it, because boy, that two. You saw what that point two did. Very impressive. So I expect the same from this one. All right, guys, let me pause this, get the camera back where I need it, and we'll see how it sprays the Vallejo. All righty, guys, next up is the point four. We're going to use this Alien Purple Game Air. We grab a spoon. Let's see how this four works. Yeah, it's already pushing a lot. You can tell it, it's. I'm barely pulling back on the, the trigger here, guys. Barely pulling back. I put the bigger cup in too, just to try it. And my finger fits. It is tight, but the other one used to interfere really bad. Whereas my finger at least fits on this one. That's it. It's covered. And it just sprays really good. Alright, let's see what kind of uh, fan pattern we get here. Yeah, much wider. Much wider. Yeah, it's literally double the other one. Let's see if we can come in tight like we did uh, the red here. The .2. Can't get it as small, that's for sure, but it's still nice and fine the way it's doing it. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, look at that. I pulled it off.
I'm gonna come in close like I did with the other one, right against it. Hold on. It's tough because the cardboard is soft, but it works. It's just as good. It's a good nozzle. Let's try a full blast. Oh yeah. We're gonna be able to prime a car body with this easy. It's it's a, it's impressive. It just works. It's just a great working airbrush. All right, guys, let me clean this out. We'll try some primer in it, and we'll wrap it up. All right, guys, let's try the primer with the uh, 0.4 needle. Let's grab another spoon here. Let's see what we got. If you guys are operating this, you would know what I mean by the light touch and how uh, quickly it atomizes the paint and just just does a great job. I mean, that, that's it. That's you know, If I'm priming something, it's, it's been primed. Let me grab a piece here. Hold on. done so yeah I think uh, I think this is a great oh. look out guys I just dropped my spoons anyway I think this is a great all-around airbrush I mean you can really you want to prime a kit in about you know 10 minutes look at this and it still goes in it doesn't make a mess when you uh, come in real tight it's um, it's terrific. I, I, I have nothing but good to say. And um, let me clean this out. We'll go over the um, the results here, and uh, we'll wrap this up. All right, guys, we are back at the bench with our wrap up of this. I think fantastic airbrush. Um, it sprayed absolutely flawlessly. Can you see this? There's not a it looks like I dipped it and let it dry. It's just beautiful. It's smooth. Here's the acrylic. Perfect. The primer from uh, Mr. Hobby, Mr. Color. Look at that. It's just it's just great. Um, you saw it perform. There's not much else I can say. I do love it. You saw me change the needle and nozzle in about 30 seconds because the nozzle has that simplified uh, single piece unit um, for how it works. Uh, here's the bigger cup. You can switch the cups. And my finger didn't fit in the old one, but it fits on this one. I tend to put my finger a little too far forward, but that's just me. Everybody has a method. It's got a cutout right here. Really, you, you should just keep your hand right here, which leaves you that gap. And uh, whatever the system is they have for the hinge is just great. Um, I I like it. I pulled it apart, you know, after the primer, and it's it's clean. It cleans itself really well. Um, when I pull the needle, you can see there's no paint back here, so it's holding the paint in the proper area. It's not going back where there shouldn't be paint. And uh, that's it. Now, I know it's it's on the high end of 200 bucks, but my favorite airbrushes are about 120 and they only come with one needle and nozzle. If you think of it that way, uh, the needle nozzle sets for this German stuff is not cheap. It's like 50 bucks, I think, for a set. So if you look at it that way, it's, a, it's around a $150 set. And you're getting this fitting, which these aren't cheap, 10 to 20 bucks for a quick fit fitting. And so they're getting that in there too, plus you're getting the two cups. The one thing I don't like is they don't give you caps on the cups, the little caps. However, uh, I don't use mine that often. Matter of fact, I have some that actually uh, fit it. So I have so many here, but I don't use them. And here's a plastic one that comes with the newer, these come with the newer uh, Badgers. Look at that. So I have one anyway. And I think if you buy this from Badger, it's like three bucks or something like that. So you got a cap anyway if you need it. I usually don't use a cap. I use the bigger cup. That way it doesn't splash. But um, that's it. I absolutely love it. I'll put a link below uh, to Amazon and to Spray Gunner. Um, use the link below. It helps. It's an affiliate link. And uh, it helps with the channel quite a bit. I do love this airbrush. I bought a Grex. I showed in uh, my community section. I did not like it at all. 
Um, it's sitting back here. I won't test it because I don't like it, and I don't want to. If I if I want to send it back or give it or sell it or give it to a friend, I I don't want to ruin it. So I, it just didn't perform like this. It just just buried it in performance. And it was the same price, by the way, two hundred bucks. Anyway, I love the airbrush. Uh, now that that's over with, I'll put the link, and I'm going to go on to this test. This will probably be up tomorrow. My Mr. Color Test, my GX Metallics. I told you earlier, I got a Vallejo Premium Airbrush Color Test coming up. Polyurethane, super durable paints. I got a whole lineup of them coming before I test. This Duralumin, this Chrome, tough. So it's supposed to be a tougher version of the one I already tested. That's coming up. I have a full test coming of Mr. Color Spray Paints. So I got about 10 or 20 cans coming in. These came in first. I like to test my metallics and silvers. There's a gold, there's white. So I had a bunch of colors coming in. Um, we'll see how they compare to Tamiya cans, which I love. But I do like Mr. Color just a little bit more than I do Tamiya. So I'm hoping the cans perform well. Uh, one more thing before I had to tell you guys to go and have a happy Halloween here. Uh, some of the colors I'm working on for my personal paint lineup. Um, this is clear gunmetal blue this is i sprayed this over black gloss black and this i sprayed over a silver to get two different results of uh gunmetal blue how nice is that now i have other colors that i'm working on but uh, i'm going to focus early on on some anodized aluminum type colors um it's kind of the thing that that's not out there and i want to uh those are the kind of colors i'm trying to work on anyway this is uh this is light gunmetal as you can see, it's almost in the same shade, but it's light. This is gloss, and that's it, flat. I'm gonna try and give you guys choices. Every color will come in flat or will come in gloss. See that? And this is it over white, same, all three the same color. Gloss over black, matte over black, matte over white. So there you go. Check this out. You know what that is? That's a brushable primer. How smooth and even is that? It's crazy because I do all kinds of airbrush tests, but it's a product that's not out there. Brushable primer. And uh, look how great. And then I brush the paint on to show you how good these enamels brush on. And that's a brushed on quickly and let it dry over the brush on primer. Both brushed. The primer was brushed and the red was brushed. So, and here's some silvers. Here's an aluminum. Aluminum. I'm going to get that right. Look how nice and smooth that is. This is a charcoal. How nice is this? A semi-gloss charcoal. So, I mean, I do have the oranges, and I have all that other stuff. It, it, it just these enamels just airbrush phenomenal. I mean, look at this. This is the most dirt. I got. I'm picking an enamel because it does two things. It brushes, and it airbrushes, and it's as, it's the most durable paint on the market. You can't get anything more durable than uh, enamels once they fully dry. It's about 48 hours dry, and that's it. So I'll keep you guys posted how well it's going. And I have a name already and a logo, so uh, we're just about ready to go. I'm just going to get the formulations down and uh, package this stuff up. And uh, Anyway, that's all. I wanted to give you a quick update on that. And uh, that's all. Time for me to go order a pizza because it's dinner time for me where I am. And that is it for today. Thank you, guys. Please like the video. And if you haven't already, subscribe because I just showed you all the tests that are coming up. And there's tons more after that. So uh, thank you guys for sticking with me. And we'll see you in the next video. Happy Halloween.